real life. So to give you a distance, it's probably about 70 meters to the closest Hartebeest at this stage. Oh, and a rhino! Hey! How exciting is that? That's my first ever live black rhino sighting. I'm so excited. Imagine if this had been Juma, I would have been in trouble. Because <laughs> I didn't spot it. We would have accidentally shown it. Oh, that's so exciting. How awesome is that? Hartebeest in the foreground, hunting lions off to the left, and a rhino in the middle. Oh, man. That's actually only the second black rhino sighting I've had here. Hello. I wonder if it's the same bull that Scott saw a couple of days ago. Hello, mister. Oh, man. And black rhino are probably my favorite animals in the entire world. Well, that's so exciting. I wonder if anyone else has spotted it. It doesn't appear to be the case. That was, that was Kirsty that spotted the rhino. Somewhat embarrassingly. Well done, Kirst. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Of course, this, oh, sorry, it was Louise. Kirsty just took credit for it. <laughs> so this is a novelty for our new viewers to be able to show the rhino is a truly exciting thing for all of us. It's something I strongly believe in because the more people see them, the more people will fall in love with them, especially as we start to get to know them better and the more people will be invested in their future. There's two rhino! Awesome! There's two rhino there. Even better than one. The sky, no, the lions are unlikely to go after the rhino. I've seen, ri I've seen lions attacking rhino before. A lot of the time, sub-adults actually are the ones that play with rhino. They practice their hunting skills. I've seen li lions jumping onto the backs of rhino and then wandering off when they got tired of the game. But lions can and do kill rhino, um, especially calves. It does happen. Uh, the lions in the sands killed a black rhino calf not so long ago. I'm sure you're all wondering, much like myself, where Scott has been and what he's up to. Let's go find out where he's racing to.